Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Jonathan, and I am just going to make a quick update here um, and tell a short story about uh, um, something I was reminded of about 11 months ago. God, when did COVID hit? 11, 12 months ago, March. Almost a year, almost a year or so. Um, we actually might end up spending more time here in Sacramento because just for right now, uh, like a month or two, we don't have to pay rent, and there's stuff that I can work on around the uh, yard and the trailer, and Jenna gets to work inside um, the bottom bottom uh, bedroom down there in the house, and it's actually a good spot for her to be able to work remotely, and I can continue to look for, uh, look for work in Idaho. So... Um, I mean, also, I might start naming some of these videos, uh, something, something, Idaho, Idaho, something, something, um, because I was told by someone that there's just a lot, there's thousands of people doing or wanting to do what we're doing right now, moving out of, uh, Flo uh Florida, yeah, Florida, there's another one, actually, they're not that bad, Florida's been doing good throughout all this COVID crap, they, uh, they're not having it, they're not they're not doing all the bullshit but yeah anyways uh lots of people and i know that for a fact myself uh tons of people are leaving california and um there's a mass exodus to all kinds of states arkansas texas idaho uh utah you know, the price of land in texas has already skyrocketed uh so yeah uh maybe this will help uh, people who have been thinking about doing the same thing, and there are a lot of people doing it, and uh, for, uh, you know, uh, obvious reasons. But the story I wanted to tell was, um, it's about television. It's about television and its place in, in, uh, in, in the life of an aw healthy, awake person. And I have had times in my life where I have been shaken awake uh 9 11 was the first one i believe or things happening that i could not explain the amount of spiritual warfare that were ha that was happening uh around that time uh was unmistakable for me i was just you know i i didn't know what it was but i wasn't aware at that time about soul harvests and harvesting sin and all kinds of uh you know the um you know the spiritual nature of the realm where we live so it was just highly confusing and but it did start start me searching for answers and um you know to find out what god is what is god so yeah uh and then i i don't watch tv really when i'm awake and i went through another period like around 2011 uh, of awakening in between these periods I somewhat you can like wake up to to the way things are and still get sleepy and then you kind of just go back in your old ways and um, until something else happens if you get that chance to be able to wake up again so there was some stuff that happened around 2011 I had a friend who was very awake my buddy Ryan uh, when it came to politics and what was going on in the world and stuff like that and um, from there it just kind of kept it, it stuck that time uh for sure and kind of just uh continued to do my research on this is and that's when things would not make sense and i started building a mental map and then around 2015 let's say that year uh i wanted to get off benzos i wanted to go uh, get off uh, a drug called ativan that i had been on since i had sobered up and it was gnarly dude it was just ooh. Wow, I've never done anything that hard in my life, and the, I wasn't sleeping at night. I was just topsy turvy, completely, um, you know, uh, yeah, uh, somatized. You know, basically, we feel things in our hearts or in our bodies, and a lot of st I still hadn't dealt with a lot of stuff, and getting off that drug really. Uh, allowed it, to, it it allowed all that stuff to come up right so i i'm not sleeping 
and and I get, you know I was like oh my god what am I gonna do every night for like six hours like while my wife's right there sleeping so I started watching TV again and you know uh, we were re like we were on our shit like we were making lists of goals and and uh, planning uh, five you know five year plans making uh, uh, progress and and you know doing a lot of action. Uh, you know, we, we were in action as far as wanting to make our dreams true. And one of those things were, uh, you know, to have an off-grid homestead and to like, you know, get off-grid, grow some food, simple life, maybe some livestock, some chickens, something like that. Like, you know, that's, that was, uh, that was, uh, you know, right at five years we wanted to do that, to do that. But at that time, what we were looking at was like, okay, let's buy a trailer. Let's get like a sportsmobile or a. I don't know, Airstream or something. And, you know, here we are. It happened. So, to digress a little bit, um, I'm not sleeping, so I started watching TV again. I got sleepy, man. I, I just I just got sleepy. And fast forward a few years, we were still doing stuff. St stuff was still happening. But, I'm, you know, we're watching TV. We made a couple moves. Moved down to Central Coast. We're just like, you know, at, uh, in at the end of the day, uh, using the TV to relax, uh, watching the shows, and dude, I, I watch TV, uh, uh, compulsively, just episodes and episodes and episodes, so it's just super, super not conducive, uh, conducive to, uh, spiritual growth, so, COVID happened, and for two days, I'm flipping out, because at that point, I didn't know the nature of, of, uh, of illness, uh, I still believed in germ theory, and, you know, I don't know, man, um, uh, I do, I do want to note really quick that, you know, there was a time when I was, I was, uh, awakening, and I remember seeing, uh, something on the news about SARS, and people were wearing masks, and just, uh, crazy, like, goggles and shit on the street, and I remember thinking, Oh man, those people are tripping, and that was it. That was it, right? Because if you're not watching TV, it's not real. It's not. Ha it's not happening. At least the pandemic isn't. All the other stuff that they're doing uh, uh, behind the scenes using uh, a fake virus as a liability shield is real. But dude, if no one told you on TV 300 million times a day that there was a pandemic, you would not think there was a pandemic. So, uh, yeah, we stopped watching TV as soon as COVID hit. Uh, started buying books again, uh, went back to, uh, I've done a lot of reading, I've read some books on uh, viruses, the uh, AIDS uh, hoax, uh, really great books for right now, uh, fantastic, fantastic books, so yeah, uh, my point to, to this and the reason, and I'll wrap this up real quick, my reason for telling this story and, and, and trust me, like I was saying, it, it has really changed our life to not be watching TV for hours every night. Uh, we still, I have a group of truthers that I listen to, um, independent journalists to find out what's going on and to continue to uh, pull in information to be able to plan and move forward. But uh, yeah, no more TV and it's way better. And what I have learned through this is this. Uh, I, for me, myself, I know that I cannot watch TV and stay awake because it's too powerful. I, th dude, what, how they do it these days is too s intense and, and hypnotic and, uh, uh, not conducive to staying awake. So, and I think it's the same for everyone. And man, if we could just all kill our TVs, <laughs> uh, the, the, the news and the TV and all the uh, uh, movies and stuff like that is the propaganda arm of the government, right? So, um, you know, Disney and, and CNN and, and CBS and all the rest of it, they're not on your side, guys. They don't care about you. They want you dead. They don't give a shit. Um, if you're going to that direction to get any of your, 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 your current events or anything like that, um, yeah. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Like in this day and age, I don't know the, why that's not common since and and just the most obvious thing ever, but it is to me. And that is about it. I don't know that people can stay awake and watch TV. And if you can, 
uh, good enough for you, but I know that for myself, I cannot. And I just wanted to make this video on that topic. I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. Much love to you. Don't be afraid of all this stuff. Do action. Don't be afraid. And have a heart of gratitude for the things that are going well in your life. And I hope you enjoy your evening.